Well, I've delayed the inevitable as long as I could. It's time to discuss the Shelp in the room. Michael Shelp is no stranger to this channel. Every January, there's a 50-50 chance I review a movie he produced. I don't know. I guess I like to start my New Year's off with some low-resolution diarrhea. All of his CG ventures are the stuff of legend. His mockbusters like to rip off movie titles as a way of getting your grandma to buy that turd from the clearance bin. I mean, I do admire him for making films with such a small production crew, but when you go around bragging you produce home entertainment sold at Walmart, Kmart, and other leading retailers, you're deserving of the flack you get. I guess we might as well watch something as 1983 as a modern Kmart. So, this review is going to be about Toys Gone Wild. Wait a minute. That kind of sounds like a porno. No, wait! It burns! It burns! <laughs> that dog just witnessed something it can never unsee. Good morning, kids. That's enough fooling around. It's time to go to school. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Sweet Jeebus Crust, what the hell is that? Did you feed Max? Of course. I love my little doggy. He still looks underfed. <laughs> I love you, too. <laughs> that girl has a stronger jawline than me. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> One sec. You could say that without the theatrics. You may want to build a bridge, write a memoir, maybe run for public office. For those things, you need education. Dude, you make me pine for ignorance. Hi there, Drillbit. I thought this was toys, not sex toys. That movie's Woody is packing some lumber. <sighs> what are you doing? Nothing. You were texting while driving! Okay, this dude's name has to be something like anal retentive. Wait a minute. It's a text. It says, Dad, stop singing. Huh? Oh. It's from you. This is not funny. Sums up the entire movie in one line. Zippy! Stop using your special powers when you don't need them! This guy is the worst Professor Xavier. In my day, we walked across two counties to get to school, in rain or shine. No, forget what I said. His name is Raging Asshat. Okay, maybe he has a point. Education will allow you to evaluate when to move things with your mind, to consider consequences, to decide if you should act. I wish Shelp heeded this advice. Someone needs help! Damn right, I need some bleach for my eyeballs! Oh dear! Do you need help, Mrs. Whippet? The talking potato with Bram Stoker Dracula hair is named Mrs. Whippet? Was Countess Crackpipe too obvious? Hello? Hello? We have an emergency in the Great Meadow! There ain't nothing great about any of this. Oh! oh. 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 Looks like Little Buttons got stuck in gum. I wish this DVD got stuck in gum. Break free! <laughs> Buttons, you're free! Thanks for averting the dog apocalypse. I guess. But you've got to use your brain. As your grandpa always said, when it comes to powers, ponder first. Was his grandfather a bargain bin Uncle Ben? Don't be too hard on him, Seymour. I remember when you were that age. You had literal shit for brains. So, what are your plans for this beautiful new toysy day? Oh, I'm going to relax right here in the gazebo. It is a beautiful day for an open casket funeral. All right, class. Today we welcome a new student. A burn victim? No, please say something about yourself. Something about yourself? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh good, a smart ass. Hey kid, I'm working this side of the street here. So, yesterday we learned about plants. I'm practically a vegetable. 
Ah, we learned about that yesterday. I want to talk about what we learned today, hmm? Have you ever learned about eye drops? Psst, hey, Sky. Want to take a ride after school? Good gravy, you barely know her! I bet his name is a social disease. Zippy, why is the sky blue? Um... <laughs> Hey, nobody likes an apple polisher. Shut up and sit down! After we study genetics next month, you may wonder how Zippy and Snap could possibly be brother and sister. Damn! You get a gold star. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Zippy. You're on probation. And I thought I was a strict educator. Fucking draconian. Meanwhile, in Banjo-Kazooie... What are you doing here? I just... thought you might need a friend. A friend? Have you considered befriending one of the boulders? Hey there, Sky. Turn that thing off! Hey, Wheelie, say cheesy! That's a terrible picture! No amount of filters could fix this level of ugly. Well, continued consumption of this movie isn't good for my heart, so I guess we're even. Welcome to Fry Everything. What are you clucking for? Wait. He was in the classroom. Does Mayor Asshat not believe in child labor laws? See, Dad, 10 for 9.99. We'll take that. No, son, not so fast. I'm also a cheap prick. Around 5 is 4.99. So if we buy two orders of 5, it's only 9.98. We save money. <laughs> exactly. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is worse than when my dad was addicted to the Gas Buddy app. It's a damn penny. Is that fucking penny going to prevent Snap from going to junior college? <sighs> All that fuss to save a penny. Oh, I'm so glad someone understands. Kids today, with their little MP3 things and headphones, they don't listen to music together. Nobody needs to hear my funk playlist. It's patently offensive. Seymour's sensational sing-along celebration. What? <laughs> that sounds so fun. So does rubbing my scrotum with the cheese grater. I like this song. Underneath the sky up there, when the stars la 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 la. It's definitely a no for me, dog. La, 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 different days. Different day. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Tonight, she thought the dollhouse was empty. Boy, was she wrong. Why? Was there a dick in the box? <sighs> Doesn't that bling mean you have a new text message? Hey, Mayor. Whoa, whoa. Let's stop, relax, collect ourselves, and remember to breathe through your ass. If you spent less time doing all that and more time studying, you wouldn't be on probation. Now turn off that junk and do your homework. Later, Dad. I'm working on my internet venture. I'm going to be an NPC. Stop sitting around like a bump on a log. Go outside and do something. Like what? Like, I don't know, basketball. OK. Now! Does this man have any joy in his life? Bro, take the jumper cables off of your nipples and relax. Thank General Revis, he's junked. Zippy! I'm going! Now! Okay! Fine, I'll put the dog out of its misery. Max is a toy dog made of polyurethane. He doesn't make a mess. Oh, ew. How long have you had this dog and you just now realize it shits? Wait a minute. Does that mean everybody in this universe poops? Oh my god, what does the inside of that rocket car kid smell like? No, the dog saw you naked and it got sick. It's okay. Good girl. Hang in there, buttons! How does levitating help with irritable bowels? The chemicals in salt irritate Button's digestive tract, causing her to, um... 
regurgitate. Why did I choose a life of reviewing shit cartoons? There's no money or fame in this. I could cure cancer or find D.B. Cooper, but this is what I do for fun. I'm a fucking idiot. Didn't you bring him? I thought I did. You lost, Max? Define lost. Max! 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 30 questions just came to mind, but this will never answer any of them. Hi, Zippy! Ah! <laughs> Sky! I wish this running joke would sprint into heavy traffic. Have you seen Max today? Oh. Uh, no. <gasps> Is Max missing? Yes. Whew! Nothing gets past this one. Look who I found! Max! Max! Oh my god, that dog has a third dimension! You should text! I don't text! Dad, it's easy. You can even send your GPS coordinates. What? Kids today. Does Mayor Asshat just yell to feel... anything? I can almost bet the First Lady left him because she got sick of this shit and left him with the kids! All right, class. Today we start our school projects. I'm dividing you into teams. <laughs> Group work? I'd rather be signed something a little less stressful like, I don't know, kicking water uphill. Just prepare a presentation. Sky? I like animals. Then do something at the zoo. You know, that place you escaped from. Snap, you're with Sky, and that leaves Zippy, Smash, and Sneedly for the final team. They're going to crash and burn so bad. Okay, see you all in two weeks. This classroom is stifling. Two weeks? Two weeks to work on a group project, and you have no other classes to worry about. This is a class project, not a fucking dissertation! <laughs> Oops. I almost forgot the pop quiz. <laughs> you cold farted itch. We gotta start our project. Now? Yes, now! We're gonna pants you and then hang you from the gazebo and call it methods of old school bullying. Move the gazebo. Huh? Brilliant suggestion! But how does that make- More space to enjoy new toysy. That's bold and helpful. And easy to animate. His special powers only work on cheap trinkets, silly knickknacks, and small mammals. Why does that sound strangely sexual? Move it over here! Over here! Um, a little to the right. Damn it, he missed! <laughs> It's alright, honey. There will be other quizzes. Who cares? That photo looks like a photo of Mr. Anderson from Beavis and Butthead. I only got a 98! <laughs> That's only two points from a perfect score. If their school had lockers, I would stuff her in one. Did she fail? Of course not! I got a 98! <laughs> I don't know. I think the only way to fix this is to just drown in acetone. Isn't it great? I'm still not sure about some of the details, like where to put the speakers, or how to do the judging. Or how to draw up plans to begin with. I'll perform the same number, and the judges will decide who did better, the contestant or me. You've got to be kidding. I know, right? The ego this fuckstick has. As part of the school project Smash, Sneedley, and I are working on. We're doing bold things that help toys. That sounds like a last minute project somebody concocted on the bus. Now you're vandalizing public property? What's the big deal? You're erecting this ridiculous stage in the middle of New Toysy just so you can torture everyone with your horrible singing. That's different. How? All the kid did was relocate a structure. You, on the other hand, want to make people's ears bleed in what best could be described as a hate crime. Sometimes I want to use my powers. Don't! Remember the last time you tried your powers? In the kitchen? We had to replace the roof. You know, I'm starting to get the vague impression that this movie's about anti-masturbation. So what's next? I think we should... move the school. What? Very bold. 
I never so helpful. Yeah, let's move it to the Mariana Trench. It's much harder than moving the gazebo. I can, but I won't. But I will for a second, just to prove that I can. Stand back! What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Over there. That's too far. Too far? Does she live in the town square? You stay out of the hot sun, and today is going to be a scorcher. <laughs> My plans are ruined. So she is part vampire. I knew it. But I want out. Now what? Don't worry, Sneeds. He won't stop us that easily. You know, Sneeds looks like a colostomy bag that's on the verge of bursting. Are you really going to stand up in front of all my friends and sing? Not only sing, but also dance. I really should call child services on Mayor Asshat. Dad, I want to talk about school. Oh, what's the problem now? Nurse, but she likes you. Could you ask? Yes. Let's go ask right now. Holy shit, he made a face turn! I severely doubt it'll last long, though. Seymour, Zippy. Beautiful day, eh? It's too hot. I miss the cool breezes of hell. The thing is... Don't say another word. Your face drives me to drink. Smash, are you using the school project as an excuse to do something inappropriate? You mean more inappropriate than this movie? Uh, no. I mean, why would I do? Why would I do something like that? Oh, Smash! It doesn't surprise me. I'd expect nothing less from somebody who lives on the other side of the toy train tracks. I was demonstrating. <laughs> and guess what Zippy wanted to do with the school? Drop it into Keen Canyon. So I was almost right with my trench comment. Smash! Thank you for saving the school. Zippy, if you weren't already on probation, you would be now. I'm so dead inside. Super duper probation until the school project presentations. Now listen to Smash and do what he says. Well, she just signed her own death warrant. This looks like a terrible version of Mario Maker. Uh, I'll tell you what's mysterious. Why anyone would waste time piling this junk up. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I ask myself that same question before every review. Hi, Zippy! Ah! Sky! Stop! Popping up out of nowhere! I'm not nowhere. Yes, this joke is bad and you should feel bad. So now I have to help Smash and Sneedly move pieces of Toyhenge, New Toys' most important historic site, to the Great Meadow. And I don't know why! I wonder if this is the voice actor lashing out at Shelp. Well, I can either move some of those slabs, or get expelled. I have no choice. Um, no. You have a choice. <sighs> are we gonna explain that point, or are we just gonna leave that hanging out there? Good lord, at this point, I think metaphysics are way easier to understand. I'm the mayo of New Toy Z, the best place to be E.E. -E. Got to love it, yo. What you want? Respect, cause you don't want to be neglected. This performance by Mayor MC Asshat is making Mick McNamara look like he has street cred. Could you please stop with the fucking cringe? Hey, gonna get pissed drunk, drive my car, smash it, crash it, kill somebody, start a fight, fall on my face, lose my teeth, puke, piss my pants, pass out, wake up, where am I, who am I? And Sneedly want to destroy Toy. I Henge. don't want to hear about it. Dad! Stop interrupting. You stop interrupting. You're so annoying. You're so annoying. Stop it, both of you. Shit. Thanks to Mayor Asshat here, I think I've got my own daddy issues. But you know what? Michael Shelp has never been able to write parents in anything. I remember when I reviewed Car's Life. I recall that father being grumpy as all get out. And to be honest, I think it's Shelp who has the real fucking daddy issues here because every father he writes just yells for no reason 
and without listening to their kids at all. Great parenting, fucko! Your sister's right. Should we rehearse the dance steps? I hope you're attacked by a blowtorch. Oh, yeah. What kind of air horn is that? Hockey fans would stomp a mud hole in you with that weak sauce. And we can get you expelled tomorrow, too, if you don't get another slab. <laughs> oh, smash! You are so mean. I love it. Well, that just confirms some Rule 34 on DeviantArt. Yep. Did you use your powers? Smash and Sneedly made me. This is not only wrong, but also illegal. You could end up in prison. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. A bad thing. It wasn't my idea. Son, I'm worried. You goof off, stay up late, then doze off during class. Now you're destroying public property. Maybe Mayor Asshat doesn't listen to his kids because he doesn't have ears. Now hear me out. Maybe those things on the side of his head are nothing more than cancerous lumps posing as ears. Brilliant! Brilliant! I tell you, Smash and Sneedly are up to no good, but you don't believe me. Miss Drab doesn't believe me. No one believes me. I believe you. Like, fuck you, do. All you've done throughout this entire movie is deny your son's autonomy. It's a fucking wonder that kid isn't in therapy. You need to make better choices, to start deciding what's right and wrong on your own. <sighs> Promise you'll try. Oh, fuck off! Sky! <laughs> Zippy! Don't sneak up like that! <laughs> it's funny because the shoe is on the other... Oh, fuck it. Install a light bulb? Um... New Toysy doesn't have electricity. New Toysy doesn't have electricity. Doesn't have electricity. Electricity. Huh. Well, let's give it a try. I'm sure glad we're friends. When was this established? That's it. That'll help the community burn those little bastards retinas out. It doesn't work. Nothing I do works. Admitting you have a problem is the first step toward recovery. <laughs> yeah, but you're still doomed to be in this movie. Hmm. Let me check. Ah! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> Fucking really? This is absolutely wonderful. Now I can see everything. She's even more creepy when she's happy! You get a perfect grade on the school project. Thank you! And you are off probation. Wait, what about all that other shit? And the group work! Miss Drab just called about the light bulb. Pretty clever. Wait, Mayor Dipshit Asshat didn't think about doing that first? <laughs> Excellent. One down, two to go. Why does the school building have a car alarm? Hmm, I can't imagine Zippy didn't secure them properly. Tch, you trust Zippy? I wouldn't make that mistake again. No. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, this man needs new glasses because he doesn't trust anything he fucking sees. Gee, it sure is dark in here. <gasps> Yay! Shelp doesn't have the capacity to write a dumb character in a smart way. Oh, you pump the water through underground pipes and the ground cools the water, which cools the classroom. Huh, I wonder if that would really work. Why don't you contact Bob Vila at this point? Oh, you can do it, Drillbit! <laughs> hmm, Sky. This is about to turn into a weird threesome, isn't it? That is so lame. And it's in the way! In the way of what? Of... of all our plans. Huh? That doesn't sound sinister or anything. But first, a shout out to Zippy for installing the new lighting and cooling system. Please don't try to sound hip and with it. <clears throat> uh, Zippy's teammates get A's too, right? Well, yes. That's so unfair. Okay, well. I have a question. 
when you walk into a classroom and you see one dude putting in a light bulb that improves all the classroom environments and yet you don't see the other two fucktwits who are supposed to be helping anywhere in the vicinity at all. How do you as an educator think it's totally fucking kosher to give them all the same damn grade? Like, with no evidence that they have done anything. This is why I was never a fan of fucking group work. Exhibit A, your honor! Would you care to explain the lighting and cooling systems? Huh? Why? Uh, <laughs> Who cares how it works? We got A's. <laughs> right. Fucking teacher of the goddamn year. <laughs> Thank you. That took two weeks to develop. Yep, we almost ran out of time. I couldn't smoke enough to get as high as these eggs. For our class project, we interviewed zoo animals about their lives. <laughs> Boring. Agreed. A snake feels like a prisoner. Yeah, the snake's like, I need help. He needs help? The snake isn't the only one. Zippy, Smash, and Snadely. This room was dark <laughs> and hot. Like I said, we uh, made it lighter and cooler. You're welcome. Thank you. Quality fucking work, boys. Drillbit and I created a piece of art. We call it Dripped and Drilled. Hmm. Now this really looks like it belongs in a horror movie scene. Creative projects. Ours is the best. So, tomorrow we are going to the zoo. I guess that plot point is over. Nothing to see here. Just like the rest of this damn movie. Smash! Sneedly! Stop tearing around like a gang of crazed speed demons! This is not a racetrack! Okay, Reggie, be extra careful with the toy hinge slabs. Are we sure Mayor Asshat isn't really a dictator? I've hired Reggie to put everything back where it belongs. No way! Way. He can't! Yeah, I can. I guess this is a thing now. I'm glad the finger paint character got a name. I guess. Nah, tomorrow my buddy and I are going surfing. <sighs> Friday? Yeah, that may work. Is this guy a kid or does he have a mortgage to pay? Not even the mayor. <laughs> How far are you willing to go? You have an idea? Murder, you say? I like it. Meanwhile, on the set of Alice, what's the matter with Hatter? <laughs> what is that? What I'm wearing at the karaoke contest tomorrow. It appears to be my new source of nightmare fuel. Instead, we'll shoot the performances with this camera and upload them live to this website called, um, YouTuba.com or YouTrumpet or something. Now I'm embarrassed for the kid. Oh. You've seen the YouTuba trampoline bloopers? Unbelievable! I know, right? And the cute little kittens who fall in the toilet? <laughs> oh yes. The more innocent times of YouTube. Why are you so weird? No one else's father dresses up like a clown and sings in public. This isn't my clown outfit. I'm saving that for the finale. Surely, surely by this point, there's enough evidence to charge this man with child abuse. If you sing karaoke in front of all my friends and then post it online, I'll never speak to you again. I so side with this kid. Shit, just run away while you're at it. Hello, new toysy! This is Mayville, North Dakota, shit for brains. Let's get this party started! <laughs> oh, good fucking night. I'm embarrassed for the software that was used to create this cringy piece of shit. Somehow this is better than hiding the high tops. Okay, this sounds really good for this movie. I'm not saying it's great, 
but it's definitely the best part of this film. So why is it here? Who did Shelp threaten to get the rights to this? Right. Gosh, Yvonne was pretty good, eh? I wonder if I can top it. <laughs> I don't encourage underage drinking, but if I were Zippy, I would be slamming. Fuck no, I wouldn't even do it that. I would be chugging moonshine right now. You so far away. It stinks. I All right, class. Everyone on the bus. La, 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 la. No, just because you saved a classroom of kids doesn't mean you redeemed yourself as a character. Divide into your school project teams, choose an animal, and study it. I'll be on the bus. I'm all for independent study, but does this teacher actually teach? Let's study something more intriguing. Like what? The snake. <laughs> now you're just hitting on the kid. Stop it! Somehow that snake looks worse than the ones from Spider's Web. Don't I deserve liberty and freedom as much as you, or you, or you? That's a good question. This is not the type of movie that should be handling heady subjects. Open the cage. Oh, hey, that's a primo idea. No, I, I can't. He can't? I thought you said. I need to get back to Mad Headquarters and stop Gadget. Party hardy, sing along, yo. This Cut is Zippy's tip dad. <sighs> Lame. And I'm barely animated. My deliverance is near. Is he about to get medieval on some ass? I've got a promise to keep. <laughs> a promise? <laughs> Why, whatever could he mean? Sounds like a felony to me. Quickly! What's going on? Oh, it's terrible! Karaoke contest! Your father! Shame this voice actor never won an Academy Award. Mayor was devoured by a huge green and purple snake! What? <sighs> yes, there is justice in this world. So that was Toys Going Wild. Damn it! Why are we still going? Oh, it's all my fault. Really? No, it's the snake's fault. She has a point. I'll never forgive myself. Yes, you will. And so will your father when we find him. Yeah, you'll find his dad in snake crap. So? It's against the rules! Whose rules? The mayor's! Really? Then he can tell us to stop when he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming back. Yeah, murder is justified when you're told you can't race. <laughs> I make that face right before a power dump. The forest glen and babbling brook! Let's go! Hell of a transition, Shelp! Why should I? Snap! Huh, how fortunate the snake committed suicide. Work! Do it! No! Ponder before using powers. Sky, do you trust me? Sure. Well, they're all dead. Sorry about this. I'll get rid of them. Hello? Hello? Wrong number. <sighs> wow, you're literally killing your friends. Quality work. <clears throat> Who knew? I guess everything I learned in biology was wrong. Hallelujah, he's dead! He shall suffer no more! <sighs> what the? You froze the snake! That's your special power! Damn it, let's just end this shit! Not back to the zoo! Please, please! The horror! No, no! Oh, please, fucking end! What did I tell you about abusing your powers? Great, now everyone can see up your toy skirt and learn the truth about your identity. 
down. Yvonne and Drillbit. The elephant really liked Drillbit. If this movie wasn't dragging on for nearly an eternity, I would have a really good vibrator joke. But at this point, my brain refuses to be clever about anything. And congratulations again, Yvonne, on winning the karaoke contest. Whoop de shit. Nobody cares. That plot point went nowhere. As you know, Smash and Sneedley have been transferred to a special school, so they texted their report. What an interesting way of saying they're in juvenile detention. I have too many friends. Oh. Hmm. Gross. Wait. That's what we're ending this movie on? Ooh. Flying Spaghetti Monster, give me the strength not to choke, fool. Well. Fucking Michael Shelp. There's a reason why I don't review his films very often. But before I lay the lumber on his ass, I need to give him one kudo. And that is that in each of his films, he tackles a slightly dark subject which is attempted murder. All films that I can recall that I reviewed of his have at least one instance of attempted murder. Like, they're going to die and that's going to be it. So, cool. Now I could obviously lambaste the animation. But I'm not going to do that Despite the fact that the zoo looks like an actual fucking prison. And that the outer part of it looks like it's pre-rendered photos of fucking Harvard or Princeton or Yale. Because that's what a zoo looks like, I guess. No. My key gripe with Shelp in every fucking film that I've ever watched of his is in the writing. They all follow this one fundamental fucking flaw that makes me want to scream. But I'm not going to do that because my throat is too valuable to me. Because I would probably be spitting up blood by the time this shit is done. So, that issue with the writing is this. At no point in any film are there any good resolutions or satisfactory conclusions? Everything ends like a fizzled fart. Like there's a whole lot of buildup and it just gets a little burp, and that's it. It satisfies nothing. And that's that man's trademark. Okay, some point here. Mayor Asshat. Does he learn anything? Fuck no, he doesn't. In fact, if he was a real person, I guarantee you, he would still be yelling at everybody about everything, because that's the only way he knows how to communicate. Yell at fucking everything, and then condemn the youth for being young, because he's no longer young. Fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Texting, oh my god, the end of society. And I bet he still doesn't trust his son. Even when he had his touching moment of, I've learned to listen and trust you, son. He still didn't. Then you have the musical portion of the movie. You know, that thing they were talking about a lot and was a key point of tension between asshat and son. How long did it last? 30 fucking seconds? And that's it! Why? Why did we even bother to have it? Because somehow Shelp got this really nice musical piece. I don't know how. I'm sure it was some way illegal. Probably. I don't know. But it's too damn good for this film. But it's there! 
So we had to pry it in there. There it is. But is there any real satisfying conclusion to this? No. It's by a character that we really don't have any kind of connection with. They're just there in the background, and all of a sudden, boom, here's character sing. Ah! Sounds like an angel, and then boom, it's done. That's it. Right. What the fuck was any of that? But that's how it's written. If anything, I would say that Shelp uses animation as a form of therapy to help him with his daddy issues, which he clearly still has. Well, I can say this for Mr. Shelp. I wish you continued fruitful success at Kmart. Good for you. Whew. All that ranting is really mm, down here. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go free my brown snake in the babbling brook. Really, really hard, Mr. Phelp. God damn. And the cat's in the cradle and go fuck yourself. God damn. Ah! Just run away while... <coughs> 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 Getting angry gets, gets you a little carried away and it's not good. Learn a fucking lesson. And I guarantee you, he would still be yelling, oh, fuck you. Probably has a lot of stress with it. But fucking yelling at everything doesn't solve shit. I should look in a mirror right now as I say that. Observation, like some sort of Michel Foucault thing, but what the fuck, man? Like, this is some bare bone shit. Like, you spent all the money on the assets. <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Probably because I shouldn't be talking about Michel Foucault in a cartoon review.